and welcome to Dave Barlow Guitar and have I got a treat for you today. Anyway, as you've probably already seen the title of this, um, I've called it something that it isn't. Um, so let's get that straight uh, to start off with. So um, first things first, obviously I've called it a chip caster. It's not a chip caster, it's actually called a les caster. So, um, which I'll show you in a second, because I've got it in the box here. But I just want to just give you a, just a very small amount of background. Small amount of background is that um, uh, I went back to the people that make Chipsons, and I said, you know, stick your name on it, do something else, or, or don't put anything on the headstock. So the guy that makes his guitar, uh, Jason is his name, I believe, uh, well, that's what he calls himself anyway. I'm sure that's not what his name is, but it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Um, he's, he's come up with a new brand name, uh, which is his last name, and I believe it's Jay or Jai. I don't know how to pronounce it. You know, I forgot to ask him, and I'm sure I pronounced it wrong, but it doesn't matter. The thing is, in my eyes, the guy makes some pretty good guitars, So, uh, uh, and the quality is pretty good so far that I've seen. So... I'm quite excited to actually open this box up and see what we got in here. It is a Les Caster model. If anybody's seen anything like that before, they'll know what I'm talking about. So let's just stop talking and crack on open this box. Now, the way I've already kind of done this, opened this part of the box. I'm in a new workshop today, so it's, it's a little bit different for me. Uh, because my old workshop's being renovated and, um, well, I'm renovating it when I'm not doing this. Which is mental. Anyway, but, so uh, let's get this open. Let's have a quick look at it. This is just an unboxing video today because there's loads more to be done, uh, loads more to be talked about uh, with these guitars, as you probably already know from my previous videos. But let's just crack on and do that. This is the box it comes in. Um, I'm going to get to uh, the spec in a bit, and also the spec will be uh, in the description below, but I'll get to that in a bit. So, um, first things first, uh, to, to save you the pain and agony of me trying to open this up, I've already done, I've already cut around the actual, um, the box, in order to get the guitar out. So, let's see what we got. So, first things first, obviously we've got the guitar in here, which I'll show you in a second, and I've just noticed that we also have some components for the guitar, here, which is the scratch plate, and I think there's a, a, a cheapy guitar lead in there as well. So that's good. Okay, so let's get the guitar, get rid of that box for a second. We'll lay the guitar out. I know this is probably not the best. Let me just move that a bit. For you. It's not the best uh, angle because I'm working a very small office today. But anyway, workshop, sorry. Right, so let's open up, see what we got, shall we? There we go. So let's change the camera angle, get a good look at it, and I'm gonna show you what we got. Right, so here's the guitar. Coming in closer. So, let me read through the, the, the spec on this guitar. It's uh, obviously, it's a brand name, it's Jay. It's not, uh, it doesn't say Gibson or Fender on, on, on the headstock, which will probably upset some people. Um, because I'm a bit, you know, obviously look at the comments <laughs> on the last three or four videos, you'll see. So, you know, I'm listening to you. We are listening to you. The people in China are listening to you. The people that don't want you to make fake guitars, and we're trying it another way, which is good. 
So it's a Les Caster model. I'm looking at my notes. It's a roasted mahogany carved body. It's a one piece mahogany neck. It's a 60s slim taper C neck profile. It's a setting neck, obviously. Uh, bone nut, which I can attest to it being. India rosewood fretboard, looks nice. 24.75 scale length, very nice. Stainless steel frets with ball ends. Very smooth. Nashville uh, bridge. Um, yeah, yeah, standard sort of standard thing really for a, a Les Paul and a lot of Gibsons. Nitro finish. So it's got that kind of is it? It's, it's kind of not not shiny, but it is shiny if you know what I mean. Which I kind of like. I like that. Two Alnico. Five pickups, 500k full size uh, pots in there, uh, as opposed to the mini pots that they used to supply. I mean, I, I don't know what the difference would that be, because uh, some guitars will put small pots in because there's not any room. Some pots will sometimes will put bigger ones in there. I suppose the bigger ones would probably have a longer, la will be longer lasting. That's the only thing I can think of that. Anyway. The, and it's got uh, some uh, Taiwanese vintage tuners. Now, obviously, I tuned this guitar up before I did this video. Well, before I did this part of the video, anyway. And um, and they are very nice tuners. They feel smooth. They're not notchy. They're not weird or any any way. And um, they seem to hold quite well. Um, they're vintage looking things. Um, which go really well with the rest of the guitar, I think. Gold hardware, obviously. Personally, not a big fan of gold hardware, but it does look nice on this guitar, I must say. Looking at the uh, finish on this guitar and the uh, and the edging and all the bits and pieces, all the finishing up that they do. It seems to be on par with any guitar that you would buy in any high street, off the shelf, guitar shop style shop. I don't know if I got that right, but anyway. Um, you wouldn't expect, it. you wouldn't find anything better, you wouldn't find anything worse, I shouldn't think. But no, finish is good, the binding's really nice. There's no bleed over, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of bleed over there. But that's more than I've even got on my Les Paul. So, you know, sorry, more on my Les Paul than I got on this. So, um, so yeah, not bad job, really. Decent uh, button uh, to hold your hold your straps in. Button straps, really good. And the whole guitar feels quite solid. Weight-wise, they didn't tell me what the weight is. And I haven't got my, um, my machine with me because obviously that's in the other workshop. But... Um, but basically, when we do the second video, when we do an in-depth deep dive into this guitar, we will go through all that stuff. But at the moment, I think I'm going to finish this video. And I'm just going to plug it into my like testing rig that I got here. And um, you know, play out, I suppose. Um, need a plectrum, don't we? There we go. Bit of gain, let's try a bit of gain to start off with, see how we get on and kind of go from there, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, a bit less gain, let's try just a bit less gain. Uh, this, the, the sound's just coming from under here. It's just a test rig that I got, so don't complain about the sound because I'm not mic'd up or anything. <laughs>
uh, just playing with the volume knob. Yeah, I can't wait to uh, take it to a rehearsal and perhaps a gig and see how it see how it works out there. But yeah, sounds great. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the unboxing video. A little bit more than unboxing, but um, yeah, it's kind of an infectious guitar because it's the shape's different and it's got this. You know, maybe I didn't work it, didn't show you that. It's this kind of it's got a carved top on it, so it's kind of a Les Paul, but it's a Telecaster. But it's nuts, and it's Paul, but it's nuts, a Telecaster. It's cool, it's great. So, um, I love it. Looking forward to the next video.